All right, this video in particular is for those who are just getting started with VS Code. So the first step is to download and install it. Go to code.visualstudio.com and here you can see the download for Windows button. You can also optionally choose to install the insiders build which will run independently and carry the latest updates. I will be using the stable version for this particular course. So click on the button, download and install it. After installation, when you launch VS Code, you should be able to see this UI. Let's take a closer look at the user interface. The UI is divided into five regions. To the very left, we have the activity bar, which lets you switch between the different views. Next to that, we have the sidebar, which contains the different views. Then we have the main editor area to edit your files. Section D is the panels. You can display different panels for output, for debug information, errors and warnings, or an integrated terminal. Finally, we have the status bar, which provides information about the opened project and the files you edit. Let's quickly take a look at these in the editor. You can see that we have the activity bar and clicking on different icons opens up the different views. We have explorer, search, source control, debugger and extensions. We of course have the main editor region on the right and we can go to view output to open the different panels. We can view the problems, output, debug console and terminal. At the bottom, we have the status bar. Let me quickly open a project to provide more information. All right, so I have opened my Flexbox project folder. Now you can see that at the bottom left, we have source control information. Any errors and warnings are also displayed. Bottom right, we have line and column number, space indentation, character encoding, EOL sequence, the language code, an option to provide feedback and also notifications if there are any. As you can see, VS Code adopts a common user interface which comes with a simple and intuitive layout. Again, this was specifically for people starting off with VS Code. From the next video, let's dive deeper into the features, tips and tricks. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.